Hello and welcome to QuickBooks 3x5. My name is Jeremy Jones. I will be taking you through this short tutorial in how to wipe your QuickBooks Online file completely clean and start from scratch. Today we'll be working with Joe's Auto Repair. Um, and let's say Joe wants to change from being a re auto repair shop to a parts distributor. And so he's going to want to start completely from scratch and so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the help menu and you want to type in wipe and press enter and it'll give you a few different items you want to select the top item wiping data and then scroll down and uh, you'll notice here it says if you're a new, a new customer within 60 days of setting up your account you can delete all, delete all of the existing data and start over from scratch if you're past the 60 day mark you uh, have to actually start up with a, a new uh, subs QuickBooks subscription so uh, the first thing that you want to do is there's there are two links and you want to copy the second link and once you copy that you'll uh, X out here and you'll want to go to the make sure you're on the home page and then go up to the URL and copy and paste that link into the top menu bar. Now there's three periods that are in between uh, this selection between com and this forward slash. You want to get rid of those three periods and then hit enter. And this will bring you to the wipe page or the delete page and it's telling, telling us right now that there's 32 accounts that need to be deleted and those are actually uh, chart of accounts items if you have lists or uh, vendors or customers or transactions in there those will all show up in there as well and so the next thing you want to do is type in yes down the right hand corner and press OK now after you press OK it's going to prompt you to select a different industry uh, and the industry that Joe is going into is he's going to be a, dis a parts distributor so we'll select distributor uh, and then there's also two selections down below uh, the first option is create accounts based on my industry which is recommended that's the one that you want to select you do not want to select create an empty chart of accounts or you'll have to upload or create a chart of accounts uh, from scratch and you don't want to do that and, and really the whole point of doing this is to change your your chart of accounts so that you can start over so we are going to uh, go ahead and wipe data and once the wipe data is complete, uh, you'll know uh, for two reasons. You'll go to the vendors, and you won't have any vendors anymore in, in uh, the vendor section, or customers, you won't have any customers in there. Um, and then the way I like to check is going to the chart of accounts. So going up to here, here to settings and chart of accounts. And then you can see that the income categories and the, and the different categories have changed. The, the income categories are usually uh, service or sales for repairs and maintenance which Joe's auto repair used to be and now he's a distributor so you have commission income consignment income so you have different uh, variety of, of uh, accounts there. And then one last thing that you want to do if he's changing his name which most likely he, he will change his name uh, the last thing you want to do is go to settings and then company settings and then you can go ahead and edit uh, the company name so uh, Joe's distribution something like that so and then save that so uh, then you just X out of that and you're completely done and Joe can now start from scratch on all of his items his chart of accounts, his customers, his vendors and that's the end of this tutorial if you need any help you can uh, contact me at uh, quickbooks3x5 that's quickbooks3x5.com uh, or email me at jeremy at jonesaccountingutah.com thanks for watching 